Okay guys, so we're going to do a build video for Asmodan. This is just going to be called straight up Lord of Sin uh, build. Um, oh shoes, I love that. But yes, here's this one, nice and quick, nice and easy. This guy obviously is all about the the range damage. He's all about trying to obviously help out as much as he can in group battles. Okay, so first off, level one, distance increased damage, yeah? Because the ball has a huge range on it, yeah, huge. So obviously the further you throw it, the more damage it'll do. Keep, obviously, this is helping you keep the distance because you want to wreak as much damage as you can. Plus it's helpful for things when, uh, say, you're trying to get the tributes, enemies trying to land the tributes, or enemies are at the pirate ship with the hand in the coins, and you can launch it a far distance and do monstrous damage with it. Okay, number level four. Um, this thing increased damage. This is ups and downs. It may be. You see, you see the increase the damage to structures and minions, or you can have the one where it heals you at the same time. But you know, if you you want to destroy a lot of minions and mer mercenary camps and da buildings, this thing is a winner. You know, you take out, you can do them for the uh, bruiser camps very easily with this. Just burning them all. Whilst you've got your Generals out and your your other minions you you summoned out your demon warriors, level seven, nice and straightforward, faster cast time and add damage over time. You know, so basically it just gets it up, launches it, it's just fast as hell, yeah. So that makes everything better, you know, because it's a lot quicker to just chuck out, especially if you're being chased. Maybe that that could help change the tide, and the, obviously twelve damage is lowest level. That, that's level. That's classed as a level one. Obviously, that'll get more damage um, whilst um, you higher level. Level ten, demonic invasion. Rain a small army of demonic grunts down on enemies dealing twenty damage per impact. Uh, demons grunts deal twenty damage and will die from four attacks. Yeah, so damage is doubled versus non-heroic targets, structures, mercenaries. Yeah. So this is good, 100 second cooldown. Level 13, straightforward. It goes the channeling whilst moving. Yeah, this, that can, can, that can really fuck people over if I'm honest. Because when you're channeling, it gets very strong, very fast, and it ticks like crazy. It's literally like, brrrr, the, the damage is very fast. So if, if you're on someone, then they realise, once you've set this on someone, they, they're in a fight with someone else, and they kind of realise that, holy shit, you're messing them up with that. You can still follow them for a good distance before they're out of your zone. Yeah, so that, that channel whilst moving can mess people up, and it will kill so many people that don't expect it to kill. And this thing, the... Lieutenant, well, this is very different. You can even Battleborn. This is very to a throw Battleborn. Yeah, well, once it's hit someone, it summons a Demon Warrior, which is very handy, uh, massively handy. Or the Demon Lieutenants will periodically bl blast enemy minions with d demonic energy, yeah, dealing 500 damage. That's a lot of extra damage. But I would not use these two for the Lord of Sin, I would use Blood for Blood. Because this, if you've ever got someone with this skill, it is monstrous. Blood for blood is so strong, right? If you steals 15% of their max health and gives it straight to you, it's actually a nice solid chunk. And also slows them down for 30%. So even though the Lord of Sin build is meant to be with this guy, I would not. I would. Once you use blood for blood, you will realize this thing is a winner. So, so strong. Okay, and now is I would always choose this, but if you don't want the resurgence of the storm, um, because it is so handy. Because my theory is it doesn't matter if you pick whatever skill you've got, yeah, if you're out of the battle for a minute, the whole game could change, right? So it's best to just be there, even if you ch so you've missed out on a skill here, which would be the perishing flames, yeah, there's no point in having that if you're waiting a minute to come back from death so you might as well be in the battlefield because five of them versus four of you because you're not there they could wipe out multiples of your team just because you're not there to help back up things so yes it's meant to be with that but 
it's better you being there than not being there, if that makes sense. So yeah, Resurgence of the Storm would be the one to go for because hey ho, you can fuck things up very very well for people. And that's it guys, that's the Lord of Sin build. Yeah, hopefully you liked, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.